Hello. Today's video is sponsored by Babbel. 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 Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Its intuitive lessons help you learn a new language through real life conversations. I decided to learn Spanish to learn something new and to connect better with those living in the world around me. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. Lessons are designed by real-life language teachers. They prepare you to have practical conversations about travel, business, relationships, and more. Because of the real-life language teachers, there's all these little tips and tricks throughout the lesson to help you, like, really understand the language. Hache ka uwe I like that I can choose to review in my personal learning style, so I really like Flashcards. Donde esta el baño? Quiero un café. Uh, no entiendo. They also have Babbel Live where you can participate in classes, like real life classes with language teachers and um, groups of people who are also learning like you. There's also audio so that you can listen and learn while you are relaxing with podcasts and audio. One really important thing about learning a language is really understanding the culture. So um, they have little culture bites for you to learn and even magazines for you to learn from. I mean, they have everything. If you're on the fence, know that Babbel offers a 20 day money back guarantee. So what language would you like to learn? Click the link in my description below to get 60% off. That's 60% off your subscription. And with that, thank you so much to Bebel for sponsoring this video, and let's get on to it. Hey, you! Stop right there! By the order of the Jarl, there is a thief on the loose, and there are mandatory pat-downs of everyone in the area. Everyone in the area. You know, I recognize you. You're one of those that likes to run around with the thieves guild, huh? You're around the reef then often? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. You're a friend of the Jarl. Oh, then on your way, of course. I was joking. Even the Yarrow's quarters are not above the thievery of the sweet roll. That's right. There is a thief who has stolen a sweet roll. I take these things very serious. There will be no sweet rolls being stolen on my watch. So, do you comply? Good, because if you didn't, I would have assumed guilt. Okay, first, hold out your hands. Hold out your hands. Good. I'm very serious about these things. So I will be very thorough. for the sugar dust, the powdered sugar or the glaze of the sweet roll. Okay, hold your arms out like this. I'm just going to pat your arms. If anything else falls out, you'll be in very big trouble. Inspect those gloves a little, uh, a little closer. Hand me your gloves. Good, thank you. <laughs> these are your gloves. Where did you get these? Some cave. 
they're old. You know, we have an armorer. Does a very good job. I'll inspect one by one. to check for the powder dust. the next one. Confiscated. Okay, let's check inside the glove. I have seen thieves like you hide things in the most weird of places. You... Oh, I dropped it. It's fine. It's fine. Pick it up. You wouldn't believe where I found some of these things. Thieves are very clever, but not as clever as me. Okay. Confiscate in both of these. You will find more in some other cave, right? Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, what is this? Hmm. I'll have to take my gloves off for this one. Just one. An empty glass. Empty jar. Tell me, what would you have had in here? Perhaps the glaze of the sweet roll? Or maybe you are an assassin. You to kill the oil. You know, conspiracy. Conspiracy here, we do not take it. As in, we take it very seriously. If I had found out that there was poison here. Hmm, lucky you. If I had found the poison, I would have you a belly full of steel. I would have killed you. Yes, that is a third. So, no poison. But this is very suspicious. Why would you have empty jar? I'm going to have to check this one moment. Or any dried powder dust. checks out. But if I hear that you got something like this from something like a witch or sorcerer of evil means, I will want to know. I could run further tests on this, but I'll let you keep this one. Uh, and what is this over here? Hmm? What say you? Ah, a drinking horn. You are an alcoholic? Of course, of course. All you, whatever you are, are alcoholics. That's why I find you in this tavern. Hmm, empty. Of 
course. Tasting the aromas of the empty. Mm. You are an ale fan. I prefer the mead myself. Check for the powder dust. If there is glaze on this drinking horn, I will know. A bit of ale and sweet roll, huh? I would know. this time. But I see a thief when I know one. The dragonborn. <laughs> you amuse me. So, was it your ma or your pa that was the dragon? <sighs> dragonborn. Sure. You know, I've known thieves like you to hide things in your hair. I want you to hold still. I'm going to search through your hair. Of course, stand still. Is this? So it just so happened to have this jewelry in your hair, right? Going to inspect it. Oh, sure, it's yours. The Jarl happens to have. Pearls just like this. And you weren't so happening to have come from the north, where the Jarl's palace is. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, sure. There are more than just one pearl necklace. Okay. It might as well say property of the Jarl. Inspect it closer. Mm. this and I will continue my search I will 
search on this side now. This is what I find. More suspicious finery. Now, this looks to be a tiara, but you don't seem to be someone who would wear a tiara. Your clothes, they are not of the finery, but you have a tiara of the finery. What are these? Gems? Ah! Seems to be real. I will be confiscating these as well. <sighs> you know, I do think there might be more inside your hair, but just in case, I'm going to use a detector. A cheese detector. Because someone like you who would steal a sweet roll would 100% steal some cheese. So, I'm just going to use this. Hold out your arms. I'm pretty sure it's on your head, but... Okay. Let's see. Hey, stand still. I'm going to check your head. Very serious business. Do you know how long it takes to make the cheese? Wait a second. I'm getting some detections from the back of your head. Hold still. Huh. Let's take a look in the back. I'm going to set down this detector and I'm going to look inside your hair here. Very thick in the back. This is what I find. Hmm. A roll of cheese. A cheese roll in the back of your hair. Tell me, why would a dragonborn like you have a roll of the cheese in the back of your hair? Brie cheese. You are a fan of the brie. A fan enough to have some in your hair. <laughs> Seems like you are hiding something. This will also be confiscated. Now, since I have reasonable cause to believe that you have stolen many items from the Jarl, I will be searching our bags. So, hand them over. Hand them over. Thank you. So, let's see here. Of fine leather construction. This is a nice belt. Someone like me could do very nicely with this belt. these ones. Lucky. Let's take a look, shall we?
Wait a second. A golden cup. You don't seem like you would have a golden cup. Or at least someone who could afford it. You look like you just crawled out of a cave. Dirt all over your face. And you are expecting me to believe that this is yours. Ah, that ring. You hear that? Which means it's real. I must inspect for dust. bottom of the the uh, cup here oh it was sitting on the table with the sweet roll that you stole hmm okay okay sweet roll in the past I suppose I can't prove that it is a current sweet roll that the dust is from but I will be confiscating this we can do sweet roll powder dating. Is in we date the powder of the sweet roll to see when the sweet roll was made. You are in very serious trouble, you know. If I find it, which I believe I will. Let us continue. of the Jarl. Interesting. I have copper coin here with the name Property of the Jarl on it. You are to tell me that you did not steal this. Oh, this is a reward from the Jarl. Oh, thank you. You are our savior. Oh, dragonborn. Right, right. Of course, of course, I could go ask the Jarl, but if I am wrong, this uh, is not good look on me, so I had to prove that this is stolen. And if it was, it would have the sticky fingers of the sweet roll thief. So let's check for the glaze. Look inside, shall we? These gloves are not very good for opening things. <clears throat> hmm. A lot of copper. Suppose the R would have gold. Mm -hmm. Good point. It is all copper. So the R paid you in all copper. <laughs> that does sound like the R. Okay. 
fine. You can keep this. I just hope that it is what you say it is. Okay, your other bag. Your other bag, please. Thank you. Hmm. like the other bag. Is it a part of a set? Hmm. What do we have here? This looks a lot like dragon scales. Someone like you, a hold of the dragon scales. There's no doubt in my mind you stole this. Oh, you defeated the dragon? Sure. Several dragons. Why not? Might as well add on another dragon. <laughs> Armor made from the dragon scales. Oh. I need to take very good look at this. If this is indeed the scales of a dragon, it is a very powerful dragon. There is no way someone like you could kill a dragon like this. Hmm. Dragons are not my business. You take this back. <sighs> Alright, well, if it's not in your bags, uh, maybe I check underneath uh, your armor. Hand me your bracers. There. Let's see what your bracers have a story to tell. There will always tell the story. Let's check the other. Saw something. Bicer, tell me. Tell me. Tell me all your secrets. I know that both the bracer. Fine. The 
eraser does not tell the story of the thief. You may have those back. But there is one more place that I would like to check. Your shoes. Hand me one of your boots. Very good. Very warm and weathered. dust on these. Hard to tell if it's powdered sugar. But it's very curious. Uh, let's try... Take a look inside. Huh. What is this I see? What do we have here? A sweet roll hidden in your shoe. Now that's an odd place to keep your sweet roll. Just as I suspected. This is the recipe of the Jarl. You even took a bite out of it. Very tiny bite. I knew it was you. The second I laid eyes on you. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you and your defense? Huh. Likely story. Well, there are some things that I could do to you. I could take you down to the dungeon. I could send you off to the Dwemer Mines, where you would never see the day, the light of the day again. I could perhaps cut off your head right here and now. And with that smart mouth of yours, that is something that I am thinking myself is a good option. But there is uh, potentially another option. For the right coin, eh, for the right amount. I will look the other way, if you catch my drift. Ah, I knew you were smart. Well, hand it over. This will suffice. Now go. You might not ever catch me this lenient ever again. You are lucky. But no more stealing the sweet roll of the Jarl on my watch. Hurry up, get out of here. I don't want people associating us or getting suspicious. <laughs> 